In today's video, I'm going to show you just how much profit one of my income streams made in May of 2023. This particular income stream is an e-commerce business where I sell products online here in South Africa. Not only am I making this video to show you what's possible, but I'm doing this to show you what expenses you can expect when running your own online store here in South Africa. Hi, my name is Stefan and welcome to my YouTube channel, a place where I give away a lot of value completely free. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. First, First, we're going to look at the revenue. I had two offline sales, which amounted to 1,045 Rand. Then I had 30 orders on take a lot, which amounted to 8,882 Rand. But just wait and see until we get to expenses for just how much fees you have to pay to sell on take a lot. I had 117 orders on my online store, which amounted to 41,489 Rand and 50 cents. So there was a lot of traffic on my online store in the month of May. And if you're wondering how I got the traffic to my own website, it's actually pretty simple simple paid traffic and organic traffic. My paid traffic only comes from Facebook ads, which I run on Instagram as well as on Facebook. And my organic traffic comes from Instagram and Facebook reels as well as posting on TikTok. The sales on take a lot happen automatically for the most part, but I do sometimes run ads on take a lot to get more sales. The two offline sales I got was basically two people that wanted to pay via EFT. So they DM my brand on Instagram and asked if they could pay via EFT, this doesn't happen very often. Now listen closely as I'm going to take you through all the expenses so that we can get to just how much profit this e-commerce business actually made. First, we're going to look at the two offline sales, which amounted to 1,045 Rand. The two orders included four items. My product cost for each product sold by this e-commerce store is 50 Rand and the total courier cost was 120 Rand, 60 Rand for each order. And I use Pudo's locker to door service as my courier. So after deducting the 200 Rand product cost, as well as the 120 Rand courier cost, I'm left with 725 Rand for my profit on the two offline sales. Now I'm going to ask you to buckle up for the take a lot fees. I've already told you that I got 30 orders on take a lot for the month of May, which amounted to 8,882 Rand. And at the end of each month, take a lot sends me an invoice with all the fees I had to pay. I purchased ad credit, which I used to run ads on take a lot. This amounted to 862 Rand and 50 cents. Then there was fulfillment fees, which is the fee take a lot charges for fulfilling and delivering each order. This amounted to 1,545 Rand and 60 cents. Then there was stock transfer fees, to give you an example for when this happens, it's basically when one of your products is in stock at the Johannesburg depot, but then you get an order from a customer in Cape Town. Then that product first needs to be moved and that's the fee they charge for having to do that. And that amounted to 41 Rand and 40 cents. Then there was a storage fee, which is charged on very slow moving stock. This can be more for some take a lot sellers, but for me, this only amounted to nine Rand and 20 cents. And then there's also a success fee, which is calculated at 18% of your total sales on take a lot and this amounted to 1939 rand and 93 cents i also had to pay a subscription fee of 460 rand to be able to sell on take a lot and this has to be paid each month so in total i had to pay take a lot for the month of may 4858 rand and 63 cents i also do need to note that this includes vat as my business is not yet registered for vat but let's not forget about product cost in total i sold 31 individual products on take a lot for the month of May and at a cost price of 50 Rand per product, the total product cost amounted to 1,550 Rand. So the total profit I made on take a lot for the month of May, after taking into account all the take a lot fees, as well as the product cost, the total profit is 2,476 Rand and 37 cents. Now let's look at my online store. These are expenses you can also expect to incur when you start your own online store. I use Shopify as my website builder and I had to pay them three thousand rand for the month of may a standard subscription at shopify is usually around 29 dollars a month but i have a lot of apps installed onto my website which also charges a monthly subscription and shopify takes about two percent of your total sales then i use payfast as my payment gateway they take about three to five percent of each sale and in this case that amounted to 1850 rand and 62 cents for the product cost i sold 150 individual products at 50 rand a product that amounts to 7,500 Rand. And I obviously have to courier each order to the customer. And this cost me 
60 Rand per order. Once again, I use Pudo's locker to door system as my courier. And for the month of May, this amounted to 7,020 Rand. I also ran Facebook ads for the month of May, and this amounted to 5,361 Rand and one cent. So the total profit my online store made, 16,757 Rand and 87 cents. The total profit I made from my offline sales, take a lot, and my online store amounted to a total of 19,959 Rand and 24 cents. I hope this video gives you an idea of what you can expect when selling products on your own online store or on take a lot and if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to get back to you. Please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.